welcome back to my channel. My name is Claudia if you don't already know. So today I'm going to be doing a Charlotte Russe try on haul for you guys. All of the items are in an extra large or a large. My store unfortunately doesn't have a big selection as far as plus size items go. They have pretty much just basic tees and different colored leggings. I mean there's no dresses, no rompers, nothing really cute right now. So this is the first item that I have for you guys. If you watched my last haul, my Forever 21 haul, you know that I'm looking for a cute corduroy skirt in the color mustard. I still have yet to find it, but I did find this one. This is in a size extra large and it is $22.99. This has no stretch, just to let you guys know. For the sake of the video, I did pair it with this little top. This is actually a unitard, but I'm not going to show you the unitard with nothing on because that just be weird to me and this was an extra large as well and it was only $15.99 which isn't that bad it's pretty cute I don't know if it's necessarily worth $15.99 but Charlotte Russe prices I mean that's about what most of the stuff is at Charlotte Russe I feel even though they're pretty basic this top is kind of a little see-through but I mean you can just wear a cami underneath if you wanted to and in the back it does have a little bit of a scoop nothing too crazy and the skirt doesn't have anything on the back either. And it does have functioning pockets. And they go pretty deep. I think you could definitely fit your phone in here if you have an iPhone. And it has two buttons right here to hook it. It's definitely past my fingertips. So I think that this is a good length for me personally. What do you guys think? It's just a cute little purple romper with some nice little detailing on the sides. The length I think is perfect. And the back, nothing crazy. It goes down enough I guess. It's not too short which is good. I got this in a size extra large and it was $19.99. It feels really soft. It doesn't feel scratchy or anything like that that you would expect from a $20 romper. I think it's cute. You could probably even wear this off the shoulders if you wanted to. I personally would prefer it like this but just because I don't like to wear strapless bras so this is what works best for me. And the elastic band goes out pretty far. It stretches pretty well. So, I mean, you can adjust it to your body and how you need it. It doesn't have pockets, unfortunately, which I think that would have absolutely put this over the top. Guys, it's just a little cropped sweater. It is made of fleece, but it's really soft on the outside, but on the inside, it's like that fleecy material. I could see this being a little too hot for the weather right now. It's like the 80s most days. Some days it gets in the 90s. The sleeves go down to a pretty good length, if you ask me. They're pretty loose, they're not tight. This isn't tight at all. I got this in a size extra large, and it was $17.99. I think this is really cute with some colorful leggings like these. I did not get these leggings at Charlotte Russe, but I think the black with a nice print would look really cute to go to the gym or even just to run errands, maybe go grocery shopping or something. And it does have a little hood and the drawstrings. They do work, but I don't want to mess up my hair. I think this little crop sweater will be perfect as we transition into fall. The only problem is mine actually came with a hole in it, so I will have to return it and switch it out. Other than that, little issue, I think it's perfect. Next, I have this navy blue striped off the shoulder blouse. I guess this would be a blouse for you guys. I really don't like this. I don't like the way it fits on me and my body. The hardest thing for me about finding shirts is finding shirts that fit my frame well. Because I can easily be in Box City real quick. And ladies and gentlemen, we are in Box City. It doesn't hug you anywhere. And this is actually in a size large. Good thing I didn't get the extra large. I almost did. I would have been like swimming in it. The only thing is, this is a little tight. But then again, I kind of have chunky arms. There is stretch to it. But I mean, if I'm already stretching it out right now, if I had chunkier arms... I don't know how good that would look. I don't like this little chunk hanging out right here either. And this is pretty stretchy. Of course, you'll probably wear this with a strapless bra. And there's nothing special about the back. And I did pair it with these black leggings just for the sake of the video. This shirt was $21.99. And it's a pretty cheap polyester material. I mean, you get what you pay for. It's Charlotte Russe, you know. It's not going to last forever. This is my first time actually purchasing a shirt like this. thought I would try new things, but unfortunately it just doesn't work for me. I think stripes are a hot item at Charlotte Rouge right now because there's actually a lot of striped stuff at Forever 21 as well whenever I went earlier this week. Next is this striped little leotard. It is a leotard. Of course I'm not going to show you the whole leotard. I just put it on these leggings because I'm not going to show my butt and stuff to the world, you know. I'm trying to venture out and try new styles of clothing. So I picked this up. I would have never reached for this. 
I mean, the arm is pretty flowy. You can see it's loose. It's not tight at all. It was kind of hard to get into. It doesn't have any stretch really whatsoever. But then again, that's my fault for buying it in a large. I probably should have signed this up to an extra large. This top was $21.99, and like I said, it is a leotard. It has two snaps at the bottom, and the print slightly changes from here to here. But that's it. And then the back, nothing special about the back. And this is not adjustable. This is how it's going to be. I need to start buying more stuff in an extra large, that's for sure. This is a size large. It's a pretty basic little tee. I'm looking for the tag. Here it is. It was $14.99, and it's in a size large. I probably should have done an extra large if I wanted it a little longer. If you wanted it a little longer, go to an extra large. I actually thought this was going to be a crop top. So it definitely fits longer than I thought it was going to fit, which I like. I like this fit. I can raise my arms and nothing's going to be exposed. I mean, then again, I am wearing leggings pulled all the way up. And it has this cute little detailing. There's no crazy design or anything on the back. It is just a plain tee. It's really soft as well. Next, we have this little mauve pink dress shirt. It was $22.99 and I did get it in a size large. And it fits pretty good, pretty nice. I feel like an extra large, it wouldn't have hugged me right. It would have made me look boxy, and that's not the look that I'm going for. It is a nice little off the shoulder. This is another item that would probably be great for the transition into fall with some leggings because it is nice and airy. But then again, you do want a little bit of warmth sometimes. This top, I think, is perfect with some leggings because it does go down lower in the front and in the back. The only thing that I don't like about this is that it's that rayon. I don't know if I'm saying that word right, but it's that rayon material so it does get really wrinkly. It's really wrinkly right now and I just don't like that because like I said before in the last haul, I'll have to be ironing all the time and I just need tops ready to go. I guess I thought that I was going to absolutely love this little hoodie because this one is exactly the same as the black one that I tried on. It's just in mustard color. Once again, it does have the hood. This isn't an extra large. It was $17.99. It's not going to hug you or anything crazy like that. It is a crop top. It's a really nice soft fleece material. There's really not anything else to say about it because I already tried it on in a different color. Isn't this so cute, you guys? And yes, I am going to hold it like this the whole time because the cleavage is all the way down here. I mean, you can see my bra. I'll probably either have my mom or my mother-in-law sew it for me maybe, or you could just wear a cami under it, but I'm not going to show you guys everything because it shows my goodies. But other than that, I think it's pretty cute. The straps are pretty loose. I think it hugs you perfect. It hugs where I want to be hugged, and it has this nice little detailing almost. I guess that's what you'd call it right here, so it does cover up the little belly. And in the back, it does have a zipper that zips it right there. I don't think you can have too many rompers, and this is my mom's absolute favorite color, so I knew I had to get it. I did get it in an extra large, and it was $26.99. It goes down pretty good. If I bend over, nothing crazy is going to show, like some other rompers that I've gotten before. They fit pretty okay, but once you bend over, everything comes out. But that's not going to happen with these. You can bend over, and you'll be safe. I would have never picked these pants for myself, but I actually am kind of living for them. I'm actually really glad that I picked these up. They are very loose, and I think I got them in a size extra large. I got them in an extra large, and they're $26.99. These little strings do not work. They are just there for the look. I paired it with this because this is how it was styled in store. So I figured they would look good together, and they actually do look pretty good. Maybe a black one, though, a black little tee like this. I wish it had pockets. I keep going like this because I feel like it needs to have pockets. They're very loose. They're very big. They're very flowy. I don't think I would have sized down because I think if I would have sized down, then this would have looked tighter and that wouldn't have been that cute. And the top is a bodysuit. I don't know if I said that. Leotard bodysuit, whatever you call it. The top is in a size large and it was only $10.99. I didn't think that I was going to like this little unitard, but I actually do. I think it fits really nice. It's really, really soft. The only thing is that it is see-through, as you can probably tell, because I am wearing a dark black bra. Not my best decision, but I mean, you could just wear a cami, or you could just get a black one of these. I'm pretty sure they did have black in the store. I thought that everybody was kind of over the whole skater skirt phase, but I never got one, and so I was like, I need to at least get it and try it on, see if I like it, and if not, whatever. It is what it is. But I really do like it. I like the fit. It's really nice. It's really soft. It's comfortable. It's very stretchy. It does have a zipper. I just pulled it up and that was fine. It's long enough to go past your fingertips. You could wear this for date night. You could wear it to go to brunch. 
I got this in a size extra large and it was $20.99. So it's not that bad. A little more than I would have liked to pay for a skirt, especially for a skirt like this that you don't really see a lot of people wear anymore. And I did pair it just with the same white little unitard that I tried on previously. I forgot to mention the blue romper did not have pockets. I know, so sad. Guess I'm really into this whole mustard color. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the top. It is another unitard. If I'm looking like a busted can of biscuits, I'm sorry. Can't do anything about it now. I got this unitard in a size large and it was $16.99. It's very soft. It's pretty stretchy as well. There's nothing special on the back either. Looks the same as the other ones. Now we'll address these guys. I thought that I was absolutely going to love this. I thought this was the perfect outfit to go together. But this is real jean material, if you know what I mean. And if you know real jean material, you know it doesn't stretch at all. Even though I did get this in a size extra large, it is very tight. I'm sure you can tell how tight it is. And I really don't feel comfortable. I'm definitely going to return this. The only good thing is it does have pockets. If it had some stretch to it, I think it would have been perfect. But there's no way I'm going to walk around like this. It does have a good length. The zipper goes all the way down as well. In the back... It's not that short either. I'm pretty sad that this skirt didn't fit because I was really excited about it and I really wanted to keep it. Now I'll just have to go look for another one. This is probably one of the items that I was most excited to buy. I did get it in a size large. They didn't have it in an extra large. I should have got an extra large. I'll probably switch it out and get it in an extra large. And it was $22.99. It's kind of like that ribbed sweater material. It's not too hot though. Like it's fine. The length of it is pretty good. It's not too short. It's not too long. I think it hugs you right where you want it to hug you once again. I will switch it out for an extra large because I feel like it's a little too tight for me. And if I'm not mistaken, I think they did have this in maybe like one or two other colors. I think I saw it just in plain black and white because this is black and white and that little mustardy color. This will look pretty cute with some sneakers, I think. What do you guys think? This is the last outfit that I have for you guys. Glad that I ended with this outfit because I love it, love it, love it. I guess we'll start at the top. So this little top is nice and flowy. It's nice and airy. It's not tight. The only thing that can be tight is this, but you can tie it to how you want to tie it. It's open back. I just wrapped it around and did a little knot. But if you wanted to tie it in the back, you could do that as well. I don't think it goes down that low. And being a bigger breasted person, I don't necessarily like to show my boobs off. I got this in a size extra large and it was $21.99. And in store, it was paired with this skirt, so I went ahead and got this skirt as well. I'm really glad that I did because I love this skirt. If I needed to wrangle my kids in it, I could. It's very stretchy. It's not tight at all. It goes down below the knees. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, so I'd probably wear some heels with it. I also got this in extra large, and it was only $16.99. It does have this little slit right here, but it doesn't go up that high. You're not going to be exposing yourself when you sit down or anything like that. I think that's all that I have to say for this outfit. I hope that you guys enjoyed this haul. Hopefully in the near future my store will get more plus size items or I'll have to go to the bigger mall that's near me that has more plus size items for you guys. Some of the bottoms that I tried on in an extra large were a little tight. I think a 0X would have fit perfect in some of the styles like that black skirt. I'm unsure as far as which try on haul you guys want me to do next. I'm in between doing American Eagle, Tilly's, or Urban Outfitters for the next haul. If you guys have a recommendation, let me know. Feel free to follow my Instagram. It's ClaudiaM0129. I will link all the items below. I spent a total of $413.56 on everything, but I did get a lot of stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed.